We're now going to check in on the crisis that is in Ukraine. And Russia's war there has reached the grim milestone of 100 days with the Ukrainian president saying that Vladimir Putin's forces now control a fifth of Ukrainian territory. Volodymyr Zelensky says Ukrainian forces have had some success in the battles of Sevier Donetsk. And it comes as the NATO chief has warned allies of a gruelling war of attrition. Major General Mick Ryan is military strategist and joins me now. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. What's your state of the assessment of the war at the moment? Well, Dan, the war has settled into a, an ebb and flow that we see in wars that go for some time. This is not a war that's going to be over in the short term. Neither of the belligerents are capable of a large or decisive knockout blow against the other, but they both retain the will and the physical means to continue fighting for some time to come. Major General, you've written about the Russian army rebooting its campaign. What do you mean by that? Well, the Russians learned that the multi-front war that they started with uh, that they had hoped would be a walkover, just didn't work. Uh, trying to do concurrent operations in the north, northeast, east, south, and in the air, as well as the global information domain, was too much. So they've consolidated their strategic objectives and consolidated geographically into the east, concentrated their forces there, and they have had some success in doing that in the last few weeks. Well, and that's squarely around what's happening as well in Donbass, isn't it? Absolutely. The, as we saw in the May Day speech from President Putin, his focus was fairly and squarely on Donbass. Uh, he didn't mention Ukraine as a nation. He mentioned Donbass multiple times. That's where Russian aspirations lay, at least in the short term. Look, what do you think about or make of this comment by the NATO chief of a gruelling war of attrition? Well, I think generally he's on the money there. Uh, many wars that people start in the hope that they will be short and decisive end up going for much, much longer. We've seen that throughout the last several hundred years. Uh, this will be very much the same, a war that the Russians hoped would be over in a few days with Russian soldiers doing a victory parade in Kiev is going to take much, much longer. Uh, they, these are two countries, both have large populations, large potential military forces that they can sustain for months or even years into the future if this war is to continue. Is that, is that what you're seeing, General, that this will continue on for months ahead? And, and where, I guess, does that sit with the broader discussion that's happening about other countries, as well as Ukraine, wanting to join NATO? Well, we shouldn't forget that this is a conflict that really started back before 2014. Um, the Ukraine and the Russians have been fighting to one degree or another since then. Um, we shouldn't be surprised that this is a conflict that will continue into the coming months, potentially even years, depending on how quickly both sides are exhausted from this war. Major General Mick Ryan, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your insights. Thanks, Dan. Great to talk to you.